Hey everyone, welcome back to Walk and Study. Today we will be going over some very advanced English vocabulary, and this video is great for anyone studying for the TOEFL, IELTS, or the GRE, or anyone who wants to learn some extremely advanced English vocabulary. As we work through these words, we will be hiking in Heil Valley Ranch in Lyons, Colorado. Okay, let's get started. Our first word is ameliorate. Ameliorate is a verb and it means to make something that is bad or unsatisfactory better or to improve it. Using ameliorate in a sentence, we could say, the nurse was able to ameliorate the burning sensation by giving the patient a painkiller. So the nurse was able to make the burning sensation better by giving the patient a painkiller. We could also say, the engineer's changes to the bridge design ameliorated the mayor's concerns. So the engineer's changes to the bridge design made the mayor's concerns better or less severe. Our next word is esoteric. Esoteric is an adjective and it means known or understood by only a few. Using esoteric in a sentence, we could say only a few archaeologists know about the esoteric field of ancient Egyptian mummification. So only a few archaeologists know about the field of ancient Egyptian mummification, which is an area of study that is obscure and understood by few people. We could also say, Hamza annoyed Veronica because he was always talking about very esoteric things. So Hamza annoyed Veronica because he was always talking about things that only a few people understood. Okay, our next word is equivocate. Equivocate is a verb, and it means to use ambiguous or unclear language in order to mislead or to avoid committing oneself. Using equivocate in a sentence, we could say, even though the lawyer asked Tyler a very simple question, he equivocated and provided no useful information. So even though the lawyer asked Tyler a clear and simple question, Tyler was intentionally unclear in his answer in order to mislead or not tell the full truth. We could also say, Don was a great politician and he equivocated so much that every party thought he agreed with them. So Don was such a great politician that he never took a clear position on any topic, making all the political parties believe he agreed with them. Our next word is exigent. Exigent is an adjective, and it means urgent or requiring immediate action or attention. Using exigent in a sentence, we could say, the exigent requirements of the emergency room left the doctor feeling exhausted when her shift was over. So the urgent and critical requirements of the emergency room left the doctor feeling very tired when her shift was over. We could also say, due to heavy rains, Luke and Ida found kayaking in the river very difficult and decided it was exigent to get out of the water. So due to heavy rains, Luke and Ida found kayaking hard because of how high the water was and they decided it was urgent to get out of the water. Our next word is glower. Glower is a verb and it means to glare or stare at someone angrily or intensely. Using glower in a sentence, we could say, Zinedine Zidane always glowers at the other team. So Zinedine Zidane always frowns or stares angrily and intensely at his opponents on the other team. We could also say, 
Genie's glower made Ozon nervous. So Genie's angry or intense stare made Ozon nervous. Our next word is aggrandize. Aggrandize is a verb and it means to increase in power, influence, and reputation. Using aggrandize in a sentence, we could say, the CEO tried to aggrandize himself by claiming that the achievements of his staff were actually his own. So the CEO sought to increase his own power, influence, and reputation by claiming that the achievements of the people working below him were actually his own achievements. Our next word is approbation. Approbation is a noun and it means approval and praise. Using approbation in a sentence, we could say, Neil Armstrong received a great deal of approbation when he returned from the moon. So Neil Armstrong received a great deal of approval and praise after he returned from the moon. Our next word is gregarious. Gregarious is an adjective and it means outgoing or sociable. Using gregarious in a sentence, we could say, she was so gregarious that everyone wanted to be her friend. So she was so outgoing or sociable that everyone wanted to be her friend. Our next word is affected. Affected is an adjective and it means phony, fake, or artificial. Using affected in a sentence, we could say, the actor used an affected French accent in order to play Napoleon in the new movie. So the actor used an artificial or fake French accent in order to play Napoleon in the upcoming movie. Our next word is august. August is an adjective and it means dignified, grandiose, or kind of awesome. Using august in a sentence, we could say, the august view of the Grand Canyon took his breath away. So the dignified, grandiose, or kind of majestic view of the Grand Canyon took his breath away. Our next word is dilate. Dilate is a verb and it means to make larger or to expand. Using dilate in a sentence, we can say, when she entered the darkened room, her pupils dilated so they could let in more light. So when she entered the darkened room, the pupils of her eyes expanded or became larger so they could let in more light. Our next word is euphemism. A euphemism is the use of an inoffensive word or phrase in place of a more distasteful word or phrase. Using euphemism in a sentence, we could say, the first grade teacher preferred to use the euphemism sleeping instead of the word dead. So the first grade teacher decided to use an inoffensive word sleeping instead of the potentially more distasteful word dead. Another example might be, the CEO used the euphemism downsizing instead of the word firing. So instead of using the potentially distasteful word of firing when talking about letting people go, the CEO chose to use the word downsizing because it had a softer or less intense connotation. Okay, our next word is gradation. Gradation is a noun and it means a process occurring by regular degrees or stages or a kind of variation in color. Using gradation in a sentence, 
we could say the paint store offers so many different gradations of red that it's impossible to choose among them. So the paint store offers so many different variations in the color of red that it's impossible to choose among them. Our next word is belfry. Belfry is a noun and it means bell tower or a room in which a bell is hung. Using belfry in a sentence, we could say, all the children in the town believed that the old church belfry was haunted by ghosts. So all the children in the town believed that the old church bell tower was haunted by ghosts. Our next word is bonhomie. Bonhomie is a noun and it means good natured geniality or an atmosphere of good cheer. Using bonhomie in a sentence, we could say, the aspects of her job that Noor loved the most were the flexible hours and the pleasant bonhomie in the office. So the aspects of her job that Noor loved the most were the flexible hours and the pleasant atmosphere in the office. Our next word is homogenous. Homogenous is an adjective and it means of a similar kind. Using homogenous in a sentence, we could say, the university dean thought that the professors at the school were too homogenous, so she decided to hire a more diverse faculty. So the university dean thought that the professors were too standard, uniform, or similar, so she decided to hire a more diverse set of professors. Our next word is insurrection. Insurrection is a noun and it means a rebellion. Using insurrection in a sentence, we could say, after the emperor's troops crushed the insurrection, its leaders fled the country. So after the emperor's troops crushed the rebellion, the leaders of the rebellion fled or left the country. Our next word is explicit. Explicit is an adjective and it means clearly stated or shown or kind of forthright or honest in one's expressions. Using explicit in a sentence, we could say, the captain made sure that his directions were explicit so that no one would get lost. So the captain made sure that his directions were clearly stated or shown so that no one would get lost. All right, our last word is lapidary. Lapidary is an adjective and it means relating to precious stones or the art of cutting them. Now, lapidary is not a word that you're, that you're going to hear very frequently. And that's why it's the last word in the list. But using lapidary in a sentence, we could say, today most lapidary work is done with the use of motorized equipment. So today, most work relating to precious stones or the art of cutting them is done with the use of motorized equipment. All right, with that, we've gone over some more very advanced English vocabulary. I hope this lesson was helpful to you all. As always, subscribe below, give us a like if you found this video useful, and let us know in the comments section what else you'd like to learn about or see in our next walk and study lesson. Thanks everyone, take care.